Hey guys, in today's video, we'll see how to navigate between pages using navigation gestures. So in my last video, I showed you how to perform the same thing using bottom navigation bar. So I'll extend the same code so that we can navigate between the same pages using gestures. So let's go into the code. So first I'll just replace the title of app bar with page controller navigation. Now to have the navigation using gestures, we'll have to use a widget called as page view. So page view wraps around a list of widgets which we can swipe through. So I'll replace the body of the scaffold with page view and I'll set the children as a list of pages which we created last time. If you now save this code, you can see that we can swipe through all the three pages. But if you see closely, you'll notice that if we swipe through the pages, the bottom navigation bar icons do not update. And if we select the bottom navigation bar updates, the page does not change. So we'll have to somehow link these two so that both of them update correctly. So let's solve the first problem. For this, what I'll do is I'll implement the on page change method, which passes in a index of the current page. Inside this method, I'll just use the set state call and I'll update the selected item variable with the current pages index. So what this will do is it will update the selected item variable, which is used in the bottom navigation bar as the current index. So if you save this code and swipe through, you'll see that the bottom navigation bar icons also update with the page number. So that was the first part. Now let's try to solve the second part. For the second part, what we'll need is a page controller. So basically a page controller is an object using which you can control the page view. So I'll create a page controller and then I'll set it on the page view as controller. And inside the on tap method of bottom navigation bar, after updating the selected item, I'll just call animate to page on page controller and I'll pass in the index as selected item and I'll set the duration for this transition as 200 milliseconds and the curve to be linear curve. And now if I save this code and check in the app, I can see that when I select the bottom navigation bar items, the pages update correctly. So this was it guys, using these techniques you can switch between pages using both bottom navigation bar and swipe gestures. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. And please do subscribe to my channel for more such content.